You were just into everything today, Miss Ma'am. Look at you. to say we have an active one-year-old I think is the understatement of the century y'all she's getting in into everything including all of my hunting gear my camping gear she wants to grab it all today it was my uh, my bino harness pack and uh, all of my other accessories that I just got back from from hunting and doing some some cool stuff up at uh, at the flare farm so today I am going to get a boat I have been searching on the internet, on uh, on Craigslist, I've been going on uh, Facebook Marketplace, which is a really good place to find pretty much anything but outdoor equipment. I've been wanting to find something that I can go out and do uh, just just more like catfishing, carp fishing, stuff like that, and not mess up my really nice boat that I have that I got from Fun and Son. I get a boat from them every year, and I want to keep it really nice. <laughs> I don't want to be slinging catfish, getting that goo all over the carpet, uh, and as well as having access to some different hunting areas uh, to go do all sorts of hunting, do deer hunting, do uh, small game hunting, bird hunting, you know, duck hunting. You obviously need a boat, so I've I've wanted one of these kinds of boats for years, and I just haven't pulled the trigger on one, and so I'm trying to find something low expenses, I can beat up, I can get catfish goo all over it, and it's not gonna matter. And I just want something with a good engine that's gonna be reliable and I don't get stuck out there on an island or something like that. I'm waiting on a response right now. It's a crummy day, it's a good day to go do this. I'm really looking forward to having a smaller boat I can play around with in these colder months and do some like backwater bass in, in the early spring. So let's go see if we can get this boat in the driveway today and I'll show you guys what kind of vessel I'm talking about. It is just an absolute crumb bumbler of a day. Raining, it's 46 right now. Blech. My first actual boat was a 17 foot aluminum boat with a 70 horse Yamaha on it. I think it was like a 82 and it was called the, it was a, a bandit. It was an aluminum craft bandit and I called it the Bandito. So Old Bandito, that is where I originally learned how to do a lot of fishing across the board. Uh, white bass, catfish, largemouth. It's really when I started getting into largemouth fishing. And it ran pretty good, honestly. So I'm looking for something that is similar to that, not quite as much horsepower, and not a console. I want something that I can uh, do a, just a stick steer and really just run up on the bank and not have to worry about it. Then I can really get the best of both worlds with a really nice bass boat that's really comfortable, tons of storage, and I can go on the biggest lakes in the country, and then I can have a small little duck boat, essentially, that I can just get muddy and go into the backwaters where I really can't take my other bass boat. Waiting on the owners to message me back and say, yes, they'll accept this price. They're really similar. One's older that has a newer motor. One's newer and a little bit longer and has an older motor, but same kind of concept. While I'm waiting, I got to get some supplies. Oh, look who it is. The old fat back son of a sandwich. Big eyed, golden crispy to be. The crappie. Too bad you're in a tank and not in the lake. I would have you in my basket. Update for you guys, I got a bunch of, uh, I got some fly tying equipment, which is for something, a project I, I'm gonna show you guys really soon. I just got a, a text from the owner of this, this one boat that is close and he's trying to get rid of the boat like ASAP, like today. He was like, can you come right now? There's some other people that are going to look at it too, so I'm trying to beat them to it. Hopefully we're the first to get there and everything checks out. We're gonna be going home with a new vessel, baby. We are pulling out, ladies and gentlemen. See ya. Oh, man, 
I think this is a pretty good find, y'all. Pretty good find for the money. Great guy I just met. He, uh, he was moving, kind of had to get rid of the boat quick, but uh, kept it in a garage his entire life. That's always the boat that uh, you want to try to get. And he actually uh, maintenance did and everything. So I'll show you guys a boat here in just a second. The weather is incredibly cold. It is a terrible day to go out on the water plus all of the wind and everything. So our first test run is gonna have to wait, but I'll show you guys the ins and outs of it. And we're gonna name this boat as well. And I want you guys to name it. So once we take a look, I wanna hear your comments. Backing her on in to her new home here, Treehouse. I know it's no Skeeter, but I promise you this boat is going to serve a very valid purpose for many, many months to come. Hell, maybe even years to come. Let's just go over here for a second to the old Silver Bullet. This boat right here, y'all, this is the ultimate dangle vessel. However, this thing I'm not putting in shallow water. I am not going up on rocks. I am not putting it in the mud. But over here, we can go in the mud, we can sling those gooey catfish and all sorts of nastiness up in here and not have to worry about it. And it's quite small too. This is only 15 feet long. I looked at some 14s, but 14s were just a little too rickety. Especially, you know, I fish with a lot of people, I have a lot of gear, I need a little extra room. This one just stood out to me because the just overall well-keptness of it. This has been garage kept, original owner. Those are hard to find. And the motor, the old Yami. Got the old 25 horse Yami, two stroke on there. It's a little stick steer, stick throttle. I didn't want to have to deal with an old boat with a console and steering cables and all that stuff that normally goes bad. So this is just a really reliable system. Let's just have a gander on the innards right here. First of all, I've got the seat. It's a pretty daggum nice seat, honestly. Looks like it's hadn't been used. It's really good condition. The owner also carpeted the inside. So normally your John boat is just, you know, metal on the inside. Uh, he carpeted it, lifted this out, carpeted the front, back, everything. So just a little nicer texture. A little better on the old feet. Will be nice in the summer. Back here we got two five gallon tanks. So we can switch off uh, between the two. And uh, we've got one battery, very simple system. So the one battery is literally for um, just the lights and the trolling motor. So I wasn't even looking for a boat that had a trolling motor, this was just kind of a bonus. And it does work. So this is, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I didn't even look at the thrust. I'm just gonna assume it's uh, like a 40. Yeah, it's a 40. It's that old school uh, Minn Kota 40. So this, the trolling motor really wasn't used that much, which is nice. I mean, it's got just really low hours on, on that. Also went ahead and made sure the motor starts. So that runs. He even included life jackets, a couple of anchors, some rope, a paddle, the essentials of having the John boat life. The trailer is really well kept. The trailer did not travel that far throughout its life. It's got new tires and wheels on it. I mean, hubs are greased. We are good to go. The only significant problem I see that we're probably gonna have to put a fix to is uh, there is a weld that busted loose right here, actually on both sides. So those welds right there where the back deck connects to. Those welds are breaking loose. It's an 07, so it's got some wear. It's got some wear and tear, but 
I'm gonna have to do some fixes on that, a little maintenance on this thing. Exact same thing on this side. So I don't anticipate water's really gonna be an issue um, coming in there like that, at that height. As you can see, the, the water line's pretty much right here. But um, I don't know, maybe on a choppy day, that could get annoying. We're definitely gonna fix it though. That motor has definitely seen some hours, but it's okay. You know, those Yamahas, they run for a long time. So the old Roughneck here, it needs a new name. You know how we do it. I wanna hear from you guys down in the comments what we need to name this new boat. You know, hit me with something. Is it gonna be the Mondo Express? Kinda like that. Uh, the Duke of Dangle? Come on. You know, some verbiage that is very familiar on this channel or maybe something new that I haven't thought of that you guys um, are gonna brilliantly come up with for this old 15-foot finagler. No, let's not name it that. You can come up with something better. The mighty friendly fox that killed all of the chickens. Off into the distance he goes as all the doves scatter in fear. Unbelievable. The gonads on that guy. Or gal. I'm not really sure. There's a, honestly a pair of them that comes through here. Um, a lot of animals have been showing up since it's gotten cooler. The deer are back. Uh, the hogs showing up again. There, I got dozens of doves in here every day and there's these annoying crows that come in and they basically beat around all the, the songbirds. They're like little savages. So speaking of that, Mr. Fox, nice little segue. On my journey today to get the boat, I stopped off and I got some crow decoys. Yes, they actually make these. I also got some other things for some various projects I'm working on in the dangle department and I ended up getting a call as well. I ended up getting a, uh, uh, yeah it says it's a bobcat call but really just a varmint call because we are about to fire up that chicken game again. I've got a lot of improvements, a lot of construction I'm going to be doing on the coop itself. I haven't even shown that thing in forever but uh, a lot of updates to come there. So anyway, we got the pesky crows, we've got all sorts of predators in here, so we gotta do some backyard battles. So we're gonna sign it off today with a brief tour of the new boat. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what the name of this vessel should be. And also put this date in your calendars, November 12th, it's coming up really soon. That's when the new fall merch drop is happening for Guggen Squad. A bunch of really cool designs for fall that you've probably seen me and the other guys wearing, but it drops November 12th, so don't forget. Make some great little Xmas presents as well. And you know, Fishing Freaks, you're gonna wanna stay tuned because there's gonna be some awesome dangles to be had in this thing, and it's the harvest season, so you know we're gonna be going after the game. So, signing off for you today. I will be back very shortly on the next one. See you then.